friends, this is Miss Anne here at the Warminster Township Free Library, and welcome back to our bowl take a meek. Today, we're going to be making a paper plate scarecrow. So first, let's talk about the supplies that you're going to be needing. And this is a picture of some of the supplies that you would get in the kit that we would be providing. So first off, you're going to get that paper plate, and it does, um, the one that we provide is cut in a certain way. Um, so that, and it has, and it has been hole punched. You're also going to string, googly eyes, a uh, hat cutout, two pink circles, one orange triangle, and two green half ovals, and four flower shaped cutouts. Um, these are all out of different color papers, um, as listed. What you're going to need to provide is scissors, glue, and crayons. So step one, um, as you can see, what we did is we kind of cut like a, a moon, like a half circle kind of thing. Um, we kind of used the edge of the paper plate on the, in the center to cut out that kind of bit. Um, and then we did a few hole punches, um, and seven in total. So what you're going to do is you're going to secure the string to the back of the crescent paper plate piece that we have for you um, using tape or glue, whichever you want, or you can even tie it. Um, I prefer tape. For this opera for this application step two so now you can see uh more clearly what the other part of the paper plate is going to look like um it's kind of a silly shape but it really does come together so step two is feeding the string through the first loop so now what you're going to do is you're actually going to lace the uh the string through the whole of the kind of like the head and then the jaw of your uh, scarecrow and back and forth and back and forth. So you're feeding it through this kind of loop there. And then you stick the string through the holes back and forth between the two pieces um, that you can see here. Um, so it's a little bit tricky at first, but it's a really great practice, especially with little ones um, who, especially uh, little ones who are starting to learn how to tie their shoes or are interested in shoes, you can kind of talk about lacing and why we lace things certain ways. So it's going to look a little like this. See how the string goes over and then under and then over again into the next piece. And so again, you're kind of stitching it kind of like a baseball. Um, you've seen the stitching on a baseball. And so it kind of looks like this um, when you're done. Uh, it is similar to how we lace up a pair of shoes, as I mentioned, baseball, things like that. And so you have these kind of pieces in between each of these, each of the uh, hole punches. And then what you're going to do is at the back, um, you know, once you're done with the final stitch, uh, you can either tape it or tie it um, so that it's secure and doesn't go out um, and that the string doesn't, you know, um, you know, unlace. So make sure to use tape or glue, or um, I ended up using um, tying a hole, tying a knot, and then I put a piece of tape on it. So step five, um, you could do step five first if you would like. Um, you could just color everything beforehand. I ended up waiting uh, because I thought the stitching might be a problem, so I wanted to make sure that that worked. And then I decided to color with a uh, yellow crayon. Um, you can use marker or colored pencil as well. We want our scarecrow to be a nice yellow color. So I just kept coloring as you can see. So step six is to glue on the pink circles. These are gonna be the cheeks of your, of your scarecrow. Um, I glued mine, it's kind of like in the corner where the two paper plates meet. Um, so just above the last stitch there on either side. So it kind of looks like that. Okay, now you're going to glue on the triangle nose and the googly eyes. Uh, the nose will be in the center of the, the paper plate and then the eyes just above that, to either side of the, of the nose. Now it's starting to look uh, a little bit more like a scarecrow. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add hair. You were given another piece, another piece of string. Um, you can cut that up into little bits and little pieces using those scissors. 
Um, we didn't put that stuff in there, but you just cut them into little bit pieces. You can cut them as short or as long as you'd like. If you want your scarecrow to have really long hair, um, you can do that. Um, or you can have really short hair. It's really up to you. What I did is I used that glue and I glued down the hair to the very top, um, just above the cheeks, eyes, and nose. Uh, it looks a little weird right there, but we're going to add the hat on next, and that kind of covers a lot up. So step nine is we're going to add the glue uh, to, the, to the hat and then add the hat to the top of your scarecrow. And that's how it kind of looks. You could end it here, um, but we gave you some other little odds and ends to kind of decorate. So you're going to decorate your hat with the flowers and um, the leaves that we provided there. Uh, first, I glued down the green leaves like so. Kind of like, it almost kind of makes its own little triangle there. Um, and then I added the petals or the the flower uh, cutouts on top of it to kind of create a nice little flower design. Uh, step 11 is hang your scarecrow on the fridge or in a window and enjoy making your very own scarecrow. That's the one I have here. Be sure to check us out on YouTube and like and subscribe. We'll be back in a few more weeks with another really fun take and make. So we hope to see you guys then.